Kaifenensen in has become a, a, an article of commerce because it is used in an industrial process to actually control the glycosylation pattern of a glycoprotein. Um, that sounds very fancy, but what it means is that the enzyme replacement therapy, when given by injection, goes where it's supposed to go. Kyphenensin is a natural product, so it's derived um, you know, through biological processes. And our clients, who are a demanding um, supply of kyphenensin, are using this product uh, in, as an ingredient in their manufacturing processes. In order to generate product, they throw in some kyphenensin. Uh, and that, what that does is it inhibits background degradation of the product. So with kyphenensin product, without kyphenensin no product, simple as that. We are looking for Kyphenensin's other uses, and one of the other uses, potentially, is in the manufacture of vaccines, vaccines against viruses like the AIDS virus. It can be used to change the glycoprotein that is used as the antigen in these vaccines, and it looks as though they may be more effective than what's been tried before. Sales of Kyphenensin have, have stabilised now uh, to the point where we're selling multi-million dollar quantities per annum uh, offshore. We are actually servicing major biotech firms uh, around the world, particularly in the US. These people are actually getting products to market that involve the technologies that we develop. This was a, a very serendipitous project because our client, who we were negotiating a contract arrangement with for the development of Kyphenensin, walked away. And we were left out of pocket, seriously out of pocket. So do we continue or do we stop? We elected to continue. We generate intellectual property, we filed and protected that intellectual property and now we have a hugely valuable product. The efforts we put in in New Zealand are actually delivering health benefits in real time and that's incredibly exciting.